Today, we are gonna unbox the fastest bait casting reel on the market. Yes, casting is added again, and they have released their Speed Demon Elite. So uh, just a quick backstory. Last year, around November, casting did a, a, a crowdfunding campaign to fund to build the next fastest bait casting reel, because they originally had the fastest, the regular Speed Demon and Speed Demon Pro, but Abu Garcia jumped them just a tad bit Right, and so now Cascading did it again, but with COVID nineteen, you know uh, that kind of hit the production line. This was supposedly slated to release in March of two thousand and twenty, and now it's September. Uh, they released the the right hand version first for those who uh, did the campaign, and they finally did the left hand for those who did the campaign. But very soon, you should find this on um, Tackle Warehouse as already posted on. And I think it should go on Amazon as well. But anyway, in this video, what we'll do is we're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you this left hand version. Uh, you guys probably have seen the right hand versions already. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick comparison to its predecessor, which I've been using a lot lately in most of my videos, the Speed Demon Pro. With that said, let's get the unboxing done. Let's take a look at the box first. Speed Demon Elite, affordable innovation. By the way, this thing is uh, MSRP, gonna be $119.99, okay? And uh, Speed Demon Pro is currently $89.99. And let's keep jumping around. There's really nothing on the box other than, you know, uh, fancy text, you could say, no specs. So hopefully Jimbo can memorize all the specs. Hopefully got some specs on this little document here, but Speed Demon Elite. Let's take a look. All right, this is pretty cool. They have all the information that you would typically see on Amazon, their um, marketing images. So this is great. It doesn't tell you the specs, but it does tell you the cool stuff here. So um, they have that cone shape, which they call it the low friction tapered vortex uh, for the line guide. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the carbon fiber side plate, which is a swing wing side cover, meaning that it'll stay there and it'll spin, which I'll show you later. And I like the idea because this is not a magnetic braking reel. It uses centrifugal braking. So if you open up the side plate to change your brakes, you know, if you're clumsy like me, you may drop your side plate, but heck no, you're not dropping it with this a reel. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really say any specs here, so Jim are gonna have to read off some specs. But let's take let's take a look at the reel. I know there's some stuff in here, so um, let's just go through it very quick. I don't know if they have anything cool. Ah, so they have sticker, more stickers, uh, loyalty program, and some tutorials on how to, I guess, take care of your reel and how to set your stuff and schematics. Still no specs. So yep, Jimbo is gonna have to uh, pull out his phone and read some specs to you guys. Or if there's any specs on his reel itself, then that'll be cool. All right, check this reel out. The fastest reel in the world. Big casting reel that is. It has 10.5 to one gear ratio, or you could get an 8.6 to one as well. Definitely faster than the old predecessor, which is 9.3 to one gear ratio. But I wanna to note to you guys in advance that this spool is actually smaller than this spool. And we'll cover that in a little bit. But let's focus on how this look externally first, okay? It looks pretty darn sleek to me. So it's aluminum frame, right? And there's some plastic. So uh, the difference is these matte black right there, that's all aluminum. These gloss is plastic. And then this is, side plate is actually plastic too for the swing wing. Ta-da, we'll cover that in a bit later. And uh, let's see what it says here. Okay, so that says 10 pounds and it could spool up 40 yards. I don't think I'll put 10 pound test line on here, but potentially I may have braid that's gonna be around 10 pounds. Couple more things I want to check out. The spool looks great. It says elite and it tells you the speed ratio right there. That's pretty cool. The red and black does stand out really well. And look at the accent on the side here. So you have the red here, red here, red here, and red here on the tension knob. And uh, nope, that's actually uh, the tension knob. The tension knob clicks, that's nice. The drag a star handle, it clicks as well. That's great. All right, so this thing is actually have a lot of pounds of drag. It has 18 pounds of drag. Let's loosen it for a second. All right, so I put it down. Just to get a few spin. 
dr the drag does kick up uh, very immediately, so that's good. Okay, so instant, instant stop going backwards. That's good too. So yeah, 18 pounds of drag. That's crazy. That definitely would be a great way to pull fish out, especially in heavy cover. But I don't know if I'm gonna frog with this since the end of the season is here and the spool is smaller than the Speed Demon Pro. EVA foam knobs, okay. Just a quick comparison to the old reel. Again, this is 18 pounds of drag. The old one is 13.2. So that's a huge jump. Spins really well. All right, that's pretty good. And here we go. Check that out. The new line guide system is actually oval instead of circle. Like if you look at the Crixes, uh, the Zephyr, the Mega Jaws, it was actually a circle, but it's still a cone shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if my camera will focus properly. There, there it goes and disappeared. All right, gosh darn it. But you guys can kind of see the side of that guide right there. But if I flipped around, you guys can't really see it. So it definitely is a cone shape going out. So that, that's nice. I definitely like anything that helps me cast further. All right, so I think I inspect everything else outside. So let's uh, give this a quick push. All right, everything clicks well, does a wobble. Great, 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 great. So check this out. We'll talk about this in a second because since we're gonna open it up, but this is not a dual braking system. But here is the button to open up the side plate. I don't like these. I'll be quite honest because in my past experience, like the 13 fishing inception, you put it on the rod holder, it smacks, opens, the plate drops into the, onto the kayak or onto the water, terrible. But one cool thing about this reel is, ta-da, this guy right here. So no, never need to fear again, Jimbo. If this thing pops open, it's still on your reel, will not get it lost. All right, so it's a centrifugal braking system, okay? But this guy right here, this ring right here, you see there's no magnets here. So when you actually twist this, this thing goes in and out. Okay. And I think the concept is because this thing is cone shaped, the closer it is, the wider it is, and the further it is, it's actually, you know, like kind of like a hat going this way, like triangle. What happened is if you max this thing out, it's gonna get closer to the spool and it goes into the spool where your braking system, your centrifugal braking system, how it works is when your pins is on, it'll shoot out and it actually is supposed to touch the side of the, the plates here. And once it rubs it, it slows down your spool. So if you're basically pushing this thing closer, this basically, uh, you know, it engages the brakes quicker. So you set your brakes here, you leave it on zero, but you slowly micro adjust the side right here to get your desired braking power. Pretty neat, but let's move on. Let's take this guy out. So I'm looking at this thing here. Definitely not ported heavily like the other uh, predecessor, which I like because it's actually very light. So we'll weigh this and we'll just weigh the other one so you guys can see. And when you weigh spools, you always weigh in grams. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look at that. 14, that is pretty heavy. And I think it's heavy because of the braking system, 14.1. All right, let's put their predecessor on. As you see, it's heavily ported, 10.6. And I believe that the reason why I have so much success casting lures and spooling myself, especially those half ounce frogs, is because of this thing, well, two things. One, this thing is a short shaft spool, okay? So that will allow this thing to spin a lot easier. I only rely on two bearings rather than three. And then this heavily ported spool, this thing made it so light. I mean, look at that, 10.7. Man, I think uh, this thing could definitely use a few more holes. But let's take a look at this. See the diameter difference? This guy is definitely bigger than this guy. <laughs> so uh, the capacity wise, definitely a lot different with is just about the same. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. I look at the shape and everything. I feel like it looks very similar, but definitely this guy is, this guy is bigger and deeper. So this guy is smaller and heavier. So, uh, you know, I hopefully if I do frog with this, I could spool myself. Likely I should be able to spool myself. 
because it has less line, but uh, you know, I prefer to have more line and be able to spool myself. So with that said, I may not use this reel for frogging. I'll continue using my Speed Demon Pro, but I wanna ask you guys, what do you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see me, Jimbo, do some casting on this reel for frogging? Leave me a comment below. So now that we have everything back together, I believe I set the auto brakes to zero. So let's do this quick spin test. Make sure there's no play there. All right, spin's okay. Kind of expected. Not too bad. If anything, Jimbo could always put ceramic hybrid bearings. And by the way, I do have ceramic hybrid bearings on my Speed Demon Pro, but I have to admit, this reel is pretty new to me this season, okay? And I just put these bearings on and I don't really see a difference between the stock one when casting frogs. So um, man, these, their original bearings is actually pretty high quality. So I may just take this back off and uh, maybe use it on these if it actually fit, which I'm not quite sure what the bearing size sizes for this guy here. It might be the same. Nope, it's not, definitely smaller. You can see that this guy is a wide one right here and that one's a lot smaller. And uh, I guess I'll take a quick peek of the spool. Spool to spool. Yeah, the spools, the bearings might be the same, but side plates is di uh, different. The Speed Demon is five by 11 by four, I think, and they're both the same for this and this. So it's easy, but these two are gonna be different. All right, guys, so let's do a one final comparison. I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys see the predecessor and the current new Elite. And you can see that this is smaller. The Elite is definitely smaller, easier to uh, hold. Definitely could feel like I could pound this a lot better than this guy here. Oh yeah, de definitely. This thing is, is bulky. And then when you put it onto your rod, Oh yeah, I'm looking at the bottom right here. This potentially actually sits lower onto the rod. I won't know until I actually try it, but this is just the unboxing video. So you guys gotta stay tuned for my cast testing video, which I'll talk more about it. But yeah, definitely this reel here, smaller than this guy here. Speed ratios, 9.3 to one gear ratio. This guy here, 10.5 to one, but there's also an 8.6 to one if you guys need a slower one. This is 6.5 ounces and mainly because it's plastic. You have a plastic handle there, which I don't like. I actually broke mine originally when I was snakehead fishing in heavy cover. And that's why you guys may have been seeing me using this guy here for a while. And that because I'm lazy to switch back to this guy here. I wanna say thanks to Cast King and their support team because when I broke my handle, they immediately sent uh, one to me within like three business days. It was like so quick. So uh, quick shout out to Cast King for being so awesome with your customer, uh, customer support. This guy here is 6.9 ounces on the paper. So I actually want to weigh this. In fact, I'll weigh both of them. And when we weigh wheels, we want them in um, ounces. Oh, look at that, 6.7. So it's actually lighter than what was said on paper. And let's weigh this guy here, 6.6. 6. So yeah, this is almost a 0.1 more than what's on paper. Maybe it's just rounding issues. Well, my, my uh, scale is a little off since it's technically off here. So uh, I don't know. These two reels does feel pretty similar on weights. And this guy is a lot smaller, but this thing is aluminum frame. So having an aluminum frame is great, especially with that 18 pounds of drag, whereas this guy here has 13.2. So that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway guys, that's the quick and dirty comparison and also my unboxing for the new Speed Demon Elite. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below, but I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see first for cast testing video. Do you want me to continue using uh, my Speed Demon reels for like frogging? So I could definitely put some 40 pound braid and do some cast testing for you guys. Or I could keep it like an all rounder. I'm thinking about maybe a 30 pound braid and just use a leader line for an entire fall for uh, this reel. So let me comment below what you guys want to see first. If you guys don't care for frogging, then I will go ahead with uh, uh, this reel as an all rounder. But I'll be quite honest with you guys. I have a feeling that I will continue using my Speed Demon Pro as my frogging rod because of the high capacity and it could cast so far. I might just have to change the handle so it's aluminum. Anyway guys, I thank you guys for watching. The fish don't wait, get out there, catch some fish.